So this is the left rear wheel of the Type 65 Chevy Daytona Coupe Factory 5, and it uses the 2015 Mustang uh, spindle. So we're looking at the back left. And I had trouble when I was cutting it off, I, I was wishing I could visualize how it would be installed so I'd know how much tolerance I had on the cut. So there's the cut right there. And if we look here in the book, this is uh, the manual for the Type 65. This is the Q version of the manual. So here on page 120, it shows you where to cut it. Here's the piece I cut off. So when I was cutting it, it's pretty straightforward to cut it. I cut it on a chop saw. That was no problem, but you know, I was curious about how much tolerance we had. They don't give you measurements to cut it. They just kind of show you a picture, which is pretty good. And they tell you to cut it off and not having seen it together. I was wondering how much tolerance you had. So you do have some tolerance on it. If you look here, here's where this piece came off. Let me flip it around right here. And so you see it definitely has to be cut, but you've got a little tolerance right here You've got about a half an inch, really. So just follow generally what you see in the diagram and uh, and you'll do okay. Doesn't have to be exact. You've got a little tolerance either way. And if I was gonna err one way or the other, I'd err away from that bolt hole, of course, just to make sure you got the material there because as I said, you've got a, you've got a good half inch, you can be off there. And uh, I see some guys cut it with a bandsaw. I cut it with this chop saw here just because that's what I had. It was a little cumbersome kind of getting on there in a the right angle, but it did the job. So hope that helps somebody. I know I wish I could have visualized that.